Hey there, folks. Michael Klepik here, and today we're diving into the fascinating world of ammonia scrubbers. If you work in industries dealing with ammonia emissions, like fertilizer production, chemical manufacturing, or wastewater treatment, you know how critical it is to control and neutralize ammonia in your airstreams. Ammonia can be corrosive, hazardous to health, and a major pollutant if released into the atmosphere. So today, we're going to break down how ammonia scrubbers work, what types are out there, and why they're essential for keeping emissions in check. Let's jump in. What is an ammonia scrubber? An ammonia scrubber is a type of air pollution control device specifically designed to capture and neutralize ammonia, NH3 emissions from industrial processes. These scrubbers typically use a chemical reaction between ammonia and an acid, like sulfuric acid, H2SO4, or phosphoric acid, H3PO4, to neutralize the ammonia gas and turn it into a harmless compound, such as ammonium sulfate or ammonium phosphate. The main goal of an ammonia scrubber is to ensure that ammonia doesn't escape into the atmosphere where it can contribute to environmental problems like acid rain or particulate formation. It's also a safety concern since high levels of ammonia can be hazardous to workers. How does an ammonia scrubber work? Let's walk through the basic steps of how an ammonia scrubber operates. Step 1. Contaminated gas. Enters the scrubber. The exhaust gas stream, containing ammonia, enters the scrubber, usually from the bottom, and rises through the system. Step 2. Injection of scrubbing solution. The scrubber injects a scrubbing liquid into the gas stream. In the case of ammonia, an acidic solution, such as sulfuric or phosphoric acid, is used. The scrubbing liquid reacts with the ammonia in the gas to form ammonium salts. Step 3. Gas liquid reaction. As the ammonia gas comes into contact with the acidic scrubbing liquid, it reacts to form a neutralized compound. For example, when ammonia reacts with sulfuric acid, it forms ammonium sulfate. This reaction not only neutralizes the harmful ammonia gas, but also creates a byproduct, ammonium sulfate, that can sometimes be recovered and used in fertilizers. Step 4. Clean gas exits. The now cleaned gas, free of ammonia, exits the scrubber after passing through a mist eliminator, which ensures that no liquid droplets are carried out with the exhaust. Types of ammonia scrubbers. There are several types of ammonia scrubbers, each with its own strengths, depending on your industry's needs and the concentration of ammonia in the exhaust gases. A. Packed bed. Ammonia scrubbers. Packed bed scrubbers are one of the most commonly used designs for ammonia control. These scrubbers are filled with packing material, which increases the surface area where the ammonia gas and the scrubbing liquid can interact. This maximizes the contact time, making the neutralization process more efficient. Advantages, high efficiency for ammonia removal, especially for high concentration emissions. Best for industries like fertilizer production, chemical processing, and waste treatment where ammonia is produced in large quantities. B. Spray tower, ammonia scrubbers. In spray tower scrubbers, the contaminated gas is sprayed with a fine mist of acid solution, which reacts with the ammonia gas as it passes through. This design is simpler and easier to maintain, but may not offer the same level of efficiency as packed bed scrubbers for high ammonia loads. Advantages. Simpler design, easier maintenance, and lower cost. Best for applications where ammonia concentrations are moderate, such as in smaller wastewater treatment facilities or industrial kitchens. C. Venturi ammonia scrubbers. Venturi scrubbers use high-speed gas streams to force the contaminated air through a narrow throat where it is mixed with the scrubbing liquid. This creates a highly turbulent environment, which is very effective at capturing both ammonia gas and particulate matter. Advantages. Highly efficient at removing fine particulates and ammonia gas, especially when dealing with fast-moving gas streams. Best for industries like pharmaceutical manufacturing or fertilizer production, where ammonia and particulate emissions need to be controlled simultaneously. Mist eliminators for ammonia scrubbers. After the ammonia has been neutralized, it's essential to make sure no liquid droplets containing ammonia or byproducts escape with the cleaned gas. This is where mist eliminators come in. 
Cyclone Mist Eliminators. These devices use centrifugal force to remove large droplets. Lamella Mist Eliminators. These use angled plates to capture smaller droplets and improve the removal efficiency. Mesh Pad Mist Eliminators. These capture very fine droplets and are great for ensuring no trace amounts of ammonia or scrubbing liquid leave the system. Key considerations for choosing an ammonia scrubber. When selecting an ammonia scrubber for your operation, it's important to consider the following factors. Ammonia concentration. Higher concentrations of ammonia may require a more efficient scrubbing system, like a packed bed or venturi scrubber. Scrubbing liquid. Depending on your industry, you'll need to choose the appropriate acid for neutralizing ammonia. Sulfuric acid is commonly used, but phosphoric acid may be preferable if you want to create ammonium phosphate, which is often used in fertilizers. Maintenance requirements. Simpler systems like spray towers are easier to maintain, but may not offer the same level of performance as more complex systems. Corrosion resistance. Since you're dealing with both ammonia and acidic solutions, your scrubber's materials need to be corrosion resistant. Stainless steel, FRP, and specialized coatings are common choices. Applications of ammonia scrubbers. Ammonia scrubbers are widely used in industries that generate significant ammonia emissions, including fertilizer manufacturing. Ammonia is a key component in fertilizer production, and scrubbers are essential for controlling emissions. Wastewater treatment plants. Ammonia can be released during the biological treatment process, making scrubbers critical for maintaining air quality. Chemical processing plants. Industries that handle or produce ammonia as a byproduct need scrubbers to prevent harmful emissions. To sum it up, ammonia scrubbers are indispensable tools for industries dealing with ammonia emissions. Whether you're in fertilizer production, chemical processing, or wastewater treatment, controlling and neutralizing ammonia is critical for safety, compliance, and environmental protection. With different options like packed bed scrubbers, spray towers, and venturi scrubbers, there's a solution for every type of operation. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep those emissions clean and safe.